Hi folks, this is Liz, and today I'm going to make a new card. You're going to have to wait to see it. We're going to use Falling Flowers. So you're just going to have to wait till the end. I'm going to stamp this in Memento ink because I'm going to be coloring it with the new Stampin' Up! markers, the blendable alcohol markers. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to do the large flower in white, which I'm going to use the shading of the um, Smoky Slate in both, and I'm going to use Pool Party. That's the pool party, two colors, and Island Indigo. And I'm going to do the leaves in the Old Olive colors. I'm also going to be using uh, Daffodil Delight for the center of the flowers and Pumpkin Pie, the dark one of that. Um, this is not a coloring video. I'm not a colorer or an artist, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from light to dark on all the colors. I'm going to put the shading in first and then I'm going to come back to the light to blend it in. So I'm just going to speed it up eventually here. Um, you can see I'm doing the leaves and to make them look curved I'm kind of preserving that highlight in the center of the leaf so that it looks a little curved and then I come in with a darker color and finally come back in and blend it out. Like I said this is not a coloring video. I'm really going to... Uh, I made the card Something happened to my camera, who knows, and what happened was I had to restart all over again, so basically I changed the design of the card. So I decided to use flowers this time, but at the end of the video I'll show you both cards that I actually made. So now I'm going to speed this up so you can see I'm putting the highlights around the petals where they overlap and in the center of the flower just to make this one look white. And I'm only using those two shades of gray. And then I come back in with the darker one, and I also put it around the outside edges of the leaves. This set also has a matching die set for the pieces that I chose to use. I'm doing the small flower in the Island Indigo shades. And then the medium one I ended up doing in the pool party. So uh, when I got all these done, and there's the dark color coming in for the pool party and the light comes back in to just blend those in. And the berries I did in the pool party and the darker um, Island Indigo. And there's the Daffodil Delight and the Pumpkin Pie coming in. I guess I use both shades. Then I just put the uh, matching dies on, taped them down, cut them out. So that's that part of the video. The next part we're going to work on is the background. We're going to do something different and this is a little messy. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put some color down on this background. So I'm going to be using Broken China and um, Peacock Feathers. That's the Broken China. I did them backwards and I'm going to be using the faded jeans. I'm going to put the lightest color down in the center and that's going to just go right straight across the center of the card. So I'm starting out with Broken China and this is the Distress Oxide and my paper is actually uh, Bristol Smooth because it just blends so nice on here. It's such a smooth paper and it's heavyweight and it's going to take the ink well. Uh, you want to press down quite a bit with these uh, applicators and as you can see even though you make a dark spot you can blend it out because it stays wet quite a while which I like and I like blending these colors together and when you do blend them I'm overlapping them so when I finish with the broken china and I put the peacock feathers on you're going to see that it's going to overlap a little bit. I hate to make you make, uh, wait until the end of this video to see the actual finished card, but that just happened the way it went, and I'm not a big editor of these videos. So here's the peacock feathers. As you can see, it's got a little more green in it. And I'm going to do that on both sides of the broken china. So kind of like stripes, but I'm blending them in. I'm going to speed this up, and then I'm going to put the faded jeans all the way around the edge. I'm going to use this Tim Holtz uh, stencil and I'm going to lay it down right over top of the card, tape it down, 
this is the part of the video that is the fun part because we're going to be using this Stampin' Up! embossing paste. Now this embossing paste is actually uh, white as you can see when I open it up and it's kind of goopy. It will dry out if you're not careful. It dries very fast. It's a water base so I'm going to take a little bit of this. If it does dry out and it gets clumpy on you just spray it with a little bit of water. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to take some Island Indigo ink and I'm going to color this paste I'm going to put a little bit down on my craft mat here, just about a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon is all you really need. And I'm going to put two drops of the Island Indigo ink, reinker, right on there. And then I'm going to blend it in with my knife, as you can see. I'm going to speed that up again because I don't like these videos to be too long. So, and once I get that all blended and it's all one color, okay, I have another one that I did with the previous card that where my camera goofed up and I did Old Olive. Now I didn't want it to dry out so I stuck it between an overhead projector transparency. And so I had some Old Olive and some Pacific Point in there which you'll see the other card at the end of the video again. So I'm going to take the Old Olive off the overhead projector, scrape it off with an old credit card. Yeah, I showed you that's Old Olive. And I'm going to start scraping it down into the bottom edge of the stencil. And you're going to fill this in pretty good. And as I do this, you're going to see that I'm not going to cover the whole thing with the green. Then I'm going to start taking the blue. When I get enough the old olive in there, I'm going to put some more of the blue. And it's okay if they mix. Let's speed it up a little bit here because this took me a while. Once you get it all on there the way you want, and it's all nice and even. By the way, you do want to clean these stencils very fast right as soon as you finish using them. I'm going to take a little Stampin' Up! Dazzling Diamonds glitter and I'm sprinkling it over top of it because we want some bling on this card. So when I get that enough of that sprinkled on there, I'm going to kind of press it down into the paste a little bit and I'm just going to lightly use the card to just kind of slide it across the top edge just to make that set on top of that and it'll stick into that paste. Now this paste dries really quick and then you pull off the stencil and voila you've got a beautiful background with a raised embossed. Now I took some Wink of Stella because this is glitter, right? So I put some Wink of Stella on all my little pieces and because I went outside of the line on that old olive piece I decided to take the color lifter and I just kind of scraped along the edge of there where that white edge is to get rid of that green that I went outside of the line with. Then I'm going to place these on the card kind of how I think I want them first. I'm just going to plan it out. I did take a piece of Island Indigo as a background color, so I kind of planned those out. And this is from the Thoughtful Banner set. I stamped the thank you verse on a little strip of half inch strip of black. And as you can see, I'm putting things down with a mono glue. And I put everything down on the lower edge, um, just glued it down onto the card, except for the white flower, which I popped up with some dimensionals. So there's, the, and I put it on a white card base, and there's the final card. Now I have another card that I did earlier, and I put some violet on the back, some wilted violet into the background, and I used the Dragonfly Dreams. So as you can see, that's glittery. Maybe the camera doesn't pick it up, but it really shines in real life. 